it was like minus seven in that fourth quarter. <laughs> yeah, what, what changed, right? Yeah, guys lost up, we were on the line. But, you know, Moose gave us a, a little speech at halftime, from there on out, like, you know, when we come back, we're just going to play our type of football. What did he say at halftime? Uh, and, you know, we don't lose that axe. Um, pretty much we weren't playing our style of football. Offensively, offensively, defensively, special team wise, we weren't playing how the kid was playing. So when we came back out, you know, our job was to you know, do the best that we could as far as on each side of the ball and get us back in the game and win. So, so what happened in the first half? Why weren't you playing your style first? I mean, you know, to be honest with you, I, mean, I, I can't really you know, put a thing on what exactly it was, but you know, my time here every senior night is just like it's just the emotions are so high. Um, you know, I think that's just always been a, a, a Key contributor of why it's like that, but you know it's, it's good to finally be back on the uh, on the, the bounce back side. You know, last year losing to Northwestern on senior night mm -hmm. on a crazy way, and then uh, my freshman year using the Penn, losing the Penn State as well on a crazy way. Like it's good to you know be on the bottom side of the show. Soldier, can you take us through that pick right along the UW sideline, your sideline, because that kind of turned the game in your favor? Uh, I mean, all week you know one of their go-to routes was um, comebacks. Okay. You know, I seen the quarterback, he dropped back, and on that third step, he was ready to fire it, and the receiver wasn't ready. I mean, and I seen his hand coming off the ball, so I just I just took a risk. And, well, if it was a double move, y'all would be talking bad about me. But, <laughs> but man, I just took a risk and, and, and went for it. And, you know, I think that just comes from the confidence that, you know, Coach Leonard has in me. He always tells me if I see something, you know, he just – Play you and go do it and go get it. And how important was the Moose pick? pick. Um, the, how important was Moose's pick in the end? Michael Peter, what'd you say? How important was Leo's pick? In the it was the shot. It was it was really big. I mean, I was when they got in the red zone, they were they were scoring and you know so you know um, Moose so catching that pick that was that was extremely big. And I think maybe like two plays before that, uh, the receiver caught like a wheel. So to see him, you know bounce back and, and make a great play that was much needed. It was it was good for Moose. So, Jude, I know you want to enjoy this tonight, but uh, how much have you already thought about Penn State and playing the Big Ten Championship yeah, yeah. game? I mean, this is big. I think I think right now in this locker room, I'm going to enjoy it, have fun. I mean, you see I'm still on my pads, <laughs> uh, everything. But, you know, I'm, I'm always the type, you know, especially after what happened two years ago when we got there, my mind's obviously already focused on Penn State. Cause that's okay. a bad take. So, Jim, could you talk about this senior class and the contributions you and your fellow seniors made today and, and, and how great it is to yeah, make man, such a contribution. Just resilient. You know, any any adverse situation that we faced, um, anybody saying that, you know, we couldn't do this or that, you know, we just kind of led the way. I mean, there's so many guys. You look at Vince and Dari, of course, um, Corey, myself, Rob. I mean, the list goes on and on. You know, every day we came in, we put in the work, and it's good to see um, the work that you put in and everything pan out. That's the, that's the best thing about it. On your pick, it'll not only change the offense.